Okay, so first of all, what we need to do is to go to this website, rage.mp and download. Okay, this will basically download the installer, okay, the setup. I, I will not run it because I already have it. And I will directly show you what will be installed. So basically we go to the disk. It will install right on the root of the disk, the rage.mp folder. And in this one, we will have well uh, the Ridge MP. Um, let's uh, let's say client, okay, which is basically this one. When I have it here also, um, which will basically uh, allow us to join any server, okay. We can see there are many servers where which we can already join. Yeah, concretely, we have two hundred thirty nine available servers now. So uh, basically, if we want to develop our own server, the, the, the important files are here inside server files, okay? Basically, this part is our server, okay? Uh, and this is where you will um, modify the code to implement yours. So if we open now the, the ADE, we can see what I have implemented. Uh, well, actually, I don't really remember which files I have created, but I think this one in client packages, I think it's uh, by default empty. And I just added this index because, um, yeah, basically when we are developing our own server, we have to write both sides, the, like the client side, which would be inside the client packages and the server side, which would be inside packages, okay? So we can see on the server side, uh, I have this, I have set basically just a, a spawn pause, some sp position to, to, to initially, to, uh, for the start. And we here we just uh, basically run this event when the player player joins. Okay, so uh, when we run the server, which is basically inside the server files, is this server is the same I put also here. Uh, here we should see uh, this message. Okay, this logs this console logs should appear there. Uh, yeah, I what I simply have done here is uh, say that the play, player will appear in that spawn position, and also we will add some vehicle. Okay, um, yeah. So basically that. And the cool part, uh, what you have seen, like the where where all the forty or more or how many. Uh, or characters are invoked are here. Well, actually, is is uh, yeah. So I added for loop, so it's it's like a matrix. And uh, I've I've put something similar also the span position, and yeah, the important part is that this will run when we start the client. And what it does, it simply we just get some position for the pet pet. Okay, here like they are called pets, the the characters, and the car position. Okay, I just created some utility function here to get uh, some some yeah some position close to the spawning position. So I just pass some X and Y and it will just be added to the spawn position. 
so uh, yeah I just uh, started here by invoking some some pet and this is just some pet I there is a list of pets I will link I will leave a link in the description where you can just write the, the name of the, of the pet and the pet will be invoked then uh, after you invoke it you have to set the controller of the pet okay and you have to say like it's from the player the controller and then you have to yeah set some some variable okay this 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 one is important because if you don't set, set the freeze position to false you will not see the character because i think first it will be invoked in some zero 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 position maybe and even if you want to spawn it to some specific position like the the position you saw it will not appear in there okay so you have to unfreeze it and then we just set some attributes also to it and yeah we also give some weapon but the, the important part is here here we invoke the the vehicle uh yeah th this this is something i was trying i think was to to set the aggressiveness of the driving but i i don't remember now but then there is the important part where we said that the test pad will enter the vehicle okay and yeah there is some timeouts and some time to 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 do it i think it's like immediately so it basically teleported to that i think i'm not sure which which, which parameter is that but one of them is like the to ability to just directly teleport to the vehicle and then the last part is to drive to some coordination and i think this is some for me it's like an error in the design of this rage mp because you have to uh, set some timeouts to basically somehow estimate when the task will be done i think this should be done with with you know with promises so you can just wait and say then do this but you cannot you cannot yeah maybe if you create some wrapper around it you can but yeah for now you have to use set timeout like if you want to directly use this function and that's it and yeah basically there's, there's no more i also added some some commands you, you can you can play with okay this is actually these commands are run on the server side so you can for example with this one you can invoke some some weapon if you want yeah we can actually try it okay but i don't remember now the weapon names uh, well, I can just uh, rage and be weapons. I think there is some list. Yeah, you can see like directly there. There is the list, and um, so we have the server running, right? Yeah. So we can just yeah. Actually, if, when you want to join the local server, you have to press here, and you can see like the address will match with this one. Okay, where is the our server running? Okay, so. Because probably if we have the server running somewhere else, we maybe deploy it to to AVS or some server in the cloud. We we will have to specify the IP address of the server. Okay, so yeah, let's let's just wait until this is running, so we can try the 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 weapons invocation. Uh, we can maybe try. Mm -hmm, I don't know, maybe. Uh, this one maybe combat shotgun why not yeah we, you can use like the id or also some hash but yeah for now i will just use this i'm also not very familiar with the hashing importing stuff okay and where, where are where is the game okay now it's running cool oh what the fuck it, it just crashed nice it just crashed Okay, let's run it again. No, well, this one not. Okay, so now we are in the game. 
And I think, yeah, with the T command, you can say now weapon, we specify the name, and some ammunition. Oh. Okay, and now we have, you can see, the weapon with the ammunition. Yeah, yeah so basically, you just, uh, to invoke a weapon, you just call player dot give weapon you pass the the weapon hash and and we yeah pass pass the ammunition okay and we also have it for for vehicle we can do something similar we can say spawn vehicle and pass the vehicle id so i can say hmp vehicles vehicles and yeah well these are both no no okay maybe yeah i don't know this one is funny this small car maybe so we can try to say spawn vehicle and the name oh and here we are we have here this wonderful uh classic gerotti brioso 300 yeah whatever oh, yeah. can just suicide the car. Okay, so basically that's it. Yeah. So I hope you, you like this video to show a bit how you can start creating your own server and yeah well I will I will now keep playing a bit with this and try to create some interesting stuff. I think you can also create the UI with with React. Uh, I think that that's get, that can be very interesting. So I will try to play with that and let's see what, what comes, what will come from there. So that's it, I hope you liked this video. And yeah, so give me like, comment if you have some, some something you, you want to discuss or some suggestions so I can try maybe implement and yeah and see you soon bye